Esteemed colleagues, it is my privilege and honor to sponsor for the consideration of this August Chamber House Bill Number 14 entitled An Act Requiring the Registration of Subscriber Identity Module Cards, otherwise known as the SIM Card Registration Act. Magadang hapon, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to ask uh, the sponsor of uh, this bill on uh, mandatory SIM card registration kung uh, meron ba tayong uh, masasayit na experience sa ibang bansa given na uh, nabanggit na majority ng mga bansa sa mundo ay merong mandatory SIM card registration. Are there positive experiences kung saan na uh, na tigil nila or significantly ay napababa yung uh, crime rates with the use of mandatory SIM card registration? Yes, um, Mr. Speaker. Um, crimes are not only perpetuated, perpetuated using SIM cards. No, What we are concentrating here are um, crimes being perpetuated using SIM cards. No, So to the, as to the question whether the crime rate in a certain country or the crime rate in the 157 countries where SIM card registration has been a law, uh, went down or not, would not reflect the effectivity of the SIM card registration or not. Mm. No, I think what we should focus here, Mr. Speaker, uh, is that yung daily experience lang ng bawat isa sa atin dito. No? Mm. Um, daily experience ng bawat isa sa atin dito, siguro um, mas madami pa yung nakukuha nating mga text messages na, na phishing or smishing kaysa doon sa mga text messages ng kakilala nating mga tao. No? And makikita natin doon sa mga text messages na yun, eh kadalasan eh, iniinganyo tayo na buksan ng isang link or minsan iniinganyo tayong mangutang o kung ano-ano man. The problem is hindi natin alam kung sino ang, ang pinanggagalingan nitong mga text messages na ito. We are now facing an alarming proliferation of text scams and frauds through the use of SMS messaging. They take various forms ranging from ridiculous winnings and raffles, which we have never participated in, to dangerous but fake warnings about problems with our bank accounts. Furthermore, in recent time, this trend has evolved into including our full names pertaining to an entirely new breach of our privacy vis-a-vis -a, -vis a serious leakage of our sensitive information intended to be private. With the responsible government agencies appearing to be helpless about these issues, we must find an appropriate solution. Mr. Speaker, my esteemed colleagues, we propose to deal with this challenge through this measure, the SIM Card Registration Act. Mr. S Mr. Speaker, kaisa ako ng ating sponsor na dapat ngang pigilan natin yung pagkalat nung uh, mga text messages na nanilin lang, gusto lamang i-take advantage yung ating mga kababayan. Kahit nga ako ay nakakatanggap din ng ganong text messages. Kaso, uh, Mr. Speaker, gusto natin na kung meron tayong uh, imumungkahi na uh, ilang mga hakbang para mapigilan ito, dapat ay meron tayong uh, katiyakan na ito ay magiging epektibo. Kaso, Mr. Speaker, Yung uh, na-site kanina na organization, yung GMSA, or GSMA to be correct, uh, Mr. Speaker, ito yung GS... So napakahalaga po na malaman kung sino ang pinanggagalingan ng mga text messages na to para malaman kung lihiti mo itong mga mensaheng ito o hindi. Hindi naman natin pwedeng iwasan na makatanggap ng text messages. For example, pag bumili po tayo online, Di ba po, minsan nagpapadala ng one-time password. Di ba po? Mm. Pag hindi po natin pinigilan o hindi po nagkaroon ng SIM card registration, sa dami po ng transaksyon na ginagawa natin sa cellphone, hindi mo na malalaman kung alin dito yung totoo o hindi. So ito totoo. pong pagrehistro ng SIM card ay protection po sa lahat ng mga consumers. Lalo na po sa ating mga maliliit na kababayan na madalas po nabibiktima nitong mga scam na to. Dahil kadalasan ang sinasabi, um, pwede kang mangutang ng walang collateral. So syempre, i-click nila yung link na yun. No? So ito po ang layunin nitong text na ito. At uh, wala pong datos na nagpapakita dahil ang crime nga, sinasabi ko, eh iba't ibang paraan. So hindi ito directly correlated sa crime rate dahil ito po ay isang portion lang ng kung papaano nangyayari ang krimen sa isang bansa. The bill seeks to require ownership registration of subscriber identity mo model, module SIM cards 
to eradicate mobile phone aided scams. Quite simply, under this bill, we would be requiring that for every purchase of a SIM card, the end user or subscriber would provide his personal information, which includes his or her full name, date of birth, gender, his or her address, the assigned cell phone number of, of the SIM card and its serial number. This representation understands that through this process, more questions of privacy might arise. But in this bill contains safeguards specifically in the confidentiality provision that would create a safe environment for registration to take place. Notwithstanding the confidentiality provision, however, and the provisions of the Data Privacy Act, this measure provides that the public telecommunications entity shall be required to disclose the full name and address contained in the SIM card registration upon a duly issued subpoena or order of a court upon finding a probable cause or upon written request from a law enforcement agency in relation to an ongoing investigation that a particular number is used in the commission of a crime or that it was used as a means to commit an unlawful act. Mr. Speaker, my esteemed colleagues, these tech scams have basically shaken or practically eroded our trust and confidence in electronic commerce and digital transactions. Regulating the purchase or sale of SIM cards, among other things, will put at rest the worries of our people that their information is being arbitrarily and maliciously shared with certain parties without approval. Esteemed colleagues, we are aware that there would always be new forms of digital crimes and fraud. The world of technology is a constantly evolving landscape and we public servants must evolve with it. It is only through this dynamism that I'm sure this August Chamber hopes to possess can we provide the relevant legislation to tackle such issues. We must highlight, however, that this act is not going to be a silver bullet against the ongoing scams that have proliferated in the last few months. However, this representation is confident that this will serve as a deterrent against unscrupulous people victimizing our fellow countrymen. The war against malicious forms of technology will be fought one battle at a time and step by step we shall emerge victorious. We shall win it because we, in the government, have the resolve and the political and moral responsibility as guardians of the people's welfare. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Mr. Speaker and esteemed members of this House, good afternoon. There is no doubt that advancements in mobile communications have ushered in a new...